that. I already have. And away we go. Away we go. Perhaps I should transform you as well. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Thank you. Anywhere in that circle. They drop you off here.
Man, those capes do not care what's behind them. They will clip through everything. Protectors Enclave needs your help. You did the right thing in the Plague Tower. I can see now I was too cautious. I'm just glad you were there and took action, or else Razad would have reached his full power and destroyed the city. Razad is dead, but whoever his masters were, they are still out there plotting. And we never did find any trace of Joseph or Dorothy Lentletter. This was a costly victory, but Neverwinter will survive, thanks to you. <laughs> and a little bit of insubordination. Before I signed on with Lord Neverwinter, I did a bit of adventuring myself. It was nothing like the thrill of destroying a dire threat at the bottom of a dark dungeon and claiming some nice loot. But if you want some real dungeon delving advice, you should speak to Armario Clavis down in the marketplace. <laughs> you wouldn't know it to look at him, but Armario was a legendary dungeon explorer in his day. After he retired, he became a master locksmith. His specialty is crafting keys capable of unlocking magically sealed dungeon chests. Maybe you should have a talk with him before you find yourself exploring a dungeon. Too late. But you can only get those keys from level 19 up. Ah. Oh. You know what? I think I will go to level 20, and that'll be the end of the recording session. It's been going on for quite a while today. Quite a while indeed. Ah. Let's go get my free key. Let's go sell my crap. away till I get new pants. It's a sheep. Dungeon chests hold the most marvelous things, but you will need a key. So, it's advice on dungeons you're after. Well, a dungeon represents a true challenge. One that will test the mettle of a full party of adventurers. Undertaking a dungeon delve requires a significant investment of time and effort. But you'll find the rewards are substantial as well. Dungeon loot is frequently locked away in magically sealed chests. But you don't have to worry about that, as long as you have one of my special keys. And to prove it, I'm willing to offer you one of my keys every day free of charge. If you wish to receive a complimentary key, just come and see me. And if you want advice on dungeon delving, I'm happy to provide that for free, too. Yes, you Now we can wait a few seconds.
Look at everybody gathered at the front gates. Okay, the south gates. Pretty sure Black Dagger is 20. You're as good as new. Well, 21. Yeah. What can I do for you? So, you're the one the old sergeant sent to help us poor Harpers, eh? Well, I'm glad he sent someone competent and open-minded enough to work with us. Lord Never Embers had trouble with our organization before. Here's hoping this can be the start of a new relationship between the Harpers and Neverwinter. My partner, a tiefling wizardess named Zaliana, was supposed to meet us here at the Broken Crown, but she never made it. I fear that the Black Dagger bandits might have caught her in an ambush along the high road and killed her. I'm not tough enough to search for her, but I can give you a description so you can look for her body. If you don't find her corpse, then maybe something happened to her ship. Talk to old Glenn, the lighthouse keeper. If her ship was wrecked, he'd have seen it happen. You know, I've never considered that there was a female version of the word wizard. It was always wizard. You're a wizard or you're a wizard. Oh, my invocation. Final invocation for the day. Well, because I'll be ending recording soon, and it is, in fact, the final invocation for the day. Now, back here. There you are. Broken Crown Inn. Now, am I remembering correctly? No, it doesn't go to you. You need illuminated insignias. That's another, uh... Oh. Oh, weird. Same thing as I already have in there, except a different shape. Hold on to it for now. And mosey red lock. Level 22, critical strike. Nice. Magic strike! Yeah! <laughs> 
Man, I wish weapon switching was this fast in Skyrim. Let me tell you something. Going from bow to mason shield whenever you're fighting a dragon, it take a while sometimes. Ever since some black bagger bandits came back, there ain't been many travelers about. They've even taken over the coast beacons and use them to lure ships onto the rocks, which might explain why your friend hasn't shown up. Anyway, I've seen you kill a few bandits on your way over, and I do appreciate it. Please take this for your trouble. Oh. Okay. Them black Dagger bandits took over the shore beacons, and now they use them to lure ships onto the rocks. I figured that Zaliana person you're looking for was on the ship that wrecked the other night. If she's still alive, she's probably hiding nearby, waiting for a signal to show herself. Yeah, back in the old days, Harpers used to slip me the odd gold to light the beacons as signals. Might still work. Light them up, and if Jalianna is there, she'll see them. And you doing that would also save me the trouble of cracking all them bandage heads. There's a lot of them, and a my lumbago might flare up before I was done. You know what would slow them scurvy black daggers down some? I'll tell you. The bandits use their rowboats to capture ships while get run aground offshore. If you was to knock some holes in them robots, that would cause a bit of chaos, eh? Well, I said I was going to end at level 20, and I mean it. Okay, new power. Ooh, bleed damage. If it weren't for my rickets, I'd crack all you bandits across the chops. And more strength and dexterity. Oh. I think I'll take deflection. Never went, Tarzan. You bandits best stay off my property! You're gonna expire anyways. You're to keep. You're to keep. Just you are junk. Alright then. This has been one ridiculously long recording session from start to 